Well, the NBA draft is right around the corner, and who better to talk about that? SI.com senior college basketball writer Luke Wynn. Luke, two of the top five picks are likely going to be point guards, and two of the guys that stand out, Emmanuel Moutier and D'Angelo Russell. If you had one of those top five picks, which point guard would you take? I guess, I mean, it's hard to compare them evenly because you've got one guy who spent one season in college, another guy who spent 12 games in yeah. China. So Russell, to me, the numbers that he put up as a freshman at Ohio State and the feel that he displayed for the game, if you watch him as a pick-and-roll player, he doesn't look like a freshman. He was one of the best pick-and-roll players in terms of pacing, decision-making uh, in all of college basketball. Probably one of the best passers, too. And I think that you're not going to find that level of feel in a guy that young. You, they just don't come around that often. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think Russell is the better playmaker by far. I don't think Moody has that feel for the game. Even in the games I saw him play on YouTube in China, he was more dynamic scorer than authentic playmaker. But his athleticism is absolutely real. I mean, this guy is 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 you know, built like a middle linebacker. Kind of compares favorably to what Russell Westbrook was when he came out of college at UCLA after two seasons. Very unpolished, and he's a lot of work, I think, on his perimeter game. But if you're drafting in this position, I think you do have to look at the explosive just tools that Emmanuel Moutier has at that spot. He's going to be able to come in and be that kind of score right away, whereas Russell, even though he is an incredibly gifted playmaker, one of the most gifted freshman passers that I've ever seen, I don't think he's ever going to have the same physical tools that Emmanuel Moutier does. I agree he's not going to get there, but okay, you've got a good sample size of shooting with D'Angelo Russell. Yeah. You know that he is a strong three-point shooter, a very good three-point shooter off the dribble, too. And I think there's a chance with Moutier that, even though I agree with you on the athleticism, that he comes into the NBA and for a while he just can't shoot from the perimeter and it ends up really causing problems with spacing. And I don't think you're going to have that problem with Russell. I just feel like there's enough proof of Russell's, the combination of shooting and playmaking, whereas Moutier, yeah, he's a great athlete. He's a high-level NBA athlete. But what happens if he's a three-point shooter in the 20s? Like, that's going to be a problem long-term from the NBA. Point guard who can't shoot. He's the perfect Philadelphia 76er then. Look, I, I would probably lean towards Russell if I was Philadelphia sitting in that three spot. They've got that gaping hole at point guard with Michael Carter-Williams no longer there. And I think Russell, if you're going to surround him with scores, and that's what Philadelphia is trying to do right now with Dario Saric eventually coming over, Joel Embiid hopefully coming back, Nolan's Noel continuing to evolve, evolve his game. Maybe they sign a score at the two-guard spot this offseason. You want a guy that can be a playmaker. And this guy, Russell, makes passes that you know, five, six-year veterans don't make I, that I saw him play last year. So I'd probably lean towards Russell. But no question, I think, that both these guys have great potential to be big in the NBA. Agree. I think the one thing with Russell, you know, I like him. I know he's not a lock. The, the one knock on him in college is that he didn't, he, he reformed really well against bad teams. Yeah. He was great at killing bad te college teams. When he played against the very high-level college competition, it wasn't the same. And, you know, that's the same way for a lot of guys who are that age. But, you know, you the one thing that I, I worry a little bit is can he do it at the NBA level? Can he produce the same? Can he, you know, shoot the same way? Can he carve people up in the pick and roll the same way? So that's the knock on him. Yeah, I think those individual workouts that he has to do and Moody has to do in the next few weeks is really going to tell about uh, where these guys are and where they're going to go in the draft. Luke, thanks a lot. Thank you.